This is my PhD in chemistry, and this is the review of atomic orbitals to understand electron configurations. We learned from the Pauli exclusion principle that an atomic suborbital can hold a maximum of two electrons and they must have opposite spins. The electron configurations are visualized by half arrows representing one electron each pointing in the opposite direction with a box around them representing the specific suborbital. So how do the electron configurations differ for different elements? Before we go through examples, let's review. First, we must know that as atomic number increase, each element gains one more electron. Orbitals are named using their n value followed by a letter that represents the orbital type S, P, D, or F. Each type of orbital is divided into suborbitals, which are the specific regions where electrons are actually located, and each suborbital can hold a maximum of two electrons each. The S orbital has one suborbital, the P orbital has three, the D orbital has five, and the F orbital has seven. Thus, the S, P, D, and F orbitals can hold a maximum of two, six, 10, and 14 electrons respectively. 